Hey folks, I just watched Netflix's new movie, Hillbilly Elegy, and I gotta say, I'm disappointed. Directed by Ron Howard and starring Amy Adams, Glenn Close, Haley Bennett, and Gabriel Basso as J.D. Vance, the real-life venture capitalist whose self-written memoir this film was based on, Hillbilly Elegy follows three generations of family members dealing with the various challenges that come from a lifetime of trauma and poverty. While there are plenty of good things going for this film, most notably Glenn Close's fiery intensity, there's a lot going against it. The story meanders back and forth between our main character JD's childhood in Middletown, Ohio, and his early adulthood struggling to fit in and get ahead at Yale Law School with a much different background than most of his peers. While at Yale, he's forced to head back to Ohio to help his sister find help for their mother, played by Amy Adams, who struggles with drug addiction and has recently overdosed on heroin. As he returns home, we see glimpses of his childhood being forced to witness and deal with his mother's spiral into addiction, while simultaneously being pushed to further his education by his cold but caring grandmother, played by Glenn Close. Now, I personally think Gabriel Basso did a really great job in this. I haven't followed his career, but I remember loving him in Kings of Summer, and I really think he sold his character, who was written to be almost too perfect. If it weren't for this being a true story, I'd have thought that the writer has put no thought into the depths of this character. Coming from nothing to becoming a Yale graduate, all while being forced to take care of his family from such a young age, it all really just seems unbelievable. But Basso really made me feel for his character. Whether he was struggling to decide which fork to use at a fancy dinner, or screaming at his mother in frustration after being hurt countless times by her before and still defending her in almost blinding rage when someone badmouths her. I feel that he played his part with some real honesty, and I look forward to following him more from now on. Meanwhile, Amy Adams was a huge letdown. When I saw the poster for this movie way back when that came out, it just screamed Oscar bait. But boy, she played this character with no subtlety. It felt like she was in a parody version of what this movie was supposed to portray. While both the young and old version of JD played off her character's abuse in such a sincere way, moving quickly from hate to pity and back and forth, I really felt like Amy Adams didn't bring anything to her character that warranted the need for that empathy. There was absolutely nothing about her portrayal that would have made anyone want to help her get better, although clearly that was the intention here. By far, the star of this film was Glenn Close. She didn't sell me at first. Similarly, she had this like cartoon vibe of what the film industry wants us to think when we hear the term hillbilly. But as the story goes on, the character really blooms into someone that you wish you had in your life. Her character is flawed and callous, and she doesn't pretend to not be. But there's a moment in this film where she tells a young JD some hard truths and puts him on his journey to success. It's powerful stuff, and was a surprising pick-me-up in a movie that had started to lose me in its own melodrama. Unfortunately, the performances alone don't make up for the story, and despite Ron Howard's impressive attention to detail when portraying what poverty truly looks like, something that I believe is often very hard to capture accurately, I just think that this movie overall missed the mark. We were shown JD's success in life a little too early in the film to truly root for him, and I don't think that the main thing holding him back, his mother, gave enough reason to get behind his choice to devote such an effort to helping her while potentially sacrificing his own success. The drama of his childhood was played out to the point of being unrealistic, and even though it was based on a true story, I think it would have benefited by not making it seem like such a cookie-cutter tale of rising up from poverty. All that being said, I give this movie a 5 out of 10. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but it certainly didn't wow me. Although it did inspire me to go back to some of Glenn Close's catalog, and has made a Gabriel Basso fan out of me, so I definitely got some positives out of it. If you were also drained by the melodrama of this movie, I think you'll like my taste. If not, tell me what you loved about the movie in the comments. Thanks.